Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm your host, Scrap the Cast. If you're wondering why my voice sounds like crap, well, it's because I tested positive for COVID-19 today for the third freaking year in a row. What can I say? I am a Rona magnet. Anyways, we're still going to continue with the Blue Palette Series number two at episode 10. And what are we going to scrap out today? Well, we're going to go ahead and scrap out this compressor. We're going to see how much copper is inside this unit. We'll then weigh up the copper and melt it down in my small furnace right here. We'll cast a copper ingot and we'll stick it on the table with the rest of the ingots from this series. And if you want to see this series from the very beginning, I will post a link in the description to that playlist. So please bear with me as I get the cart set up. The camera mounted, and we'll bring it back for the teardown of this compressor.
All right, everyone, that compressor is all set. I absolutely hate scrapping these things out. I'll be honest with you, I never do scrap them out. I always just sell them to the scrapyard as a complete unit. Sure, you get lower money for it, but for the amount of aggravation, the oil that gets everywhere, and I mean everywhere, you can see it all over the cart here. No matter how much paper I put down, it's still soaked all the way through. And there was about seven sheets of this paper. But anyways, this is all the steel stuff. And this stuff right here that looks like copper, it absolutely is not copper. It is steel. And I will show you really quickly. See? And same for this piece in here. That's also steel. So anyways, don't scrap these out. Don't waste your time. Don't get your tools all dirtied up. Just sell it complete. But anyways, we got one pound, 1.5 ounces of number two dirty copper. And that's exactly what that is. If I was to sell this to the scrapyard today, I would get about $2.40 from my local scrapyard for this weight. So anyways, I know a couple of you had asked that I start putting values on the stuff as I scrap it out. And that's exactly what I'm going to start doing from now on, or at least I'll try to. But anyways, we'll go ahead and get the furnace set up and then we'll start melting this copper down.
right, everyone, the bar is all set. Here's what it looks like. An absolutely gorgeous top side pattern. There's not one single hole or any imperfections whatsoever, for at least from what I can see. The sides came out really nice, nice and uniform. And the bottom side, eh, there's always imperfections on the bottom anyways. And this isn't going to be the side that's displayed, so I'm okay with this. Just because the top side just came out awesome. So we had one pound, 1.5 ounces of dirty number two copper before we melted it which I estimated to be about $2.40 in value. Now this is considered number one copper now. Let's see what we got. We got one pound, 0 0.5 ounces. So we lost an ounce, but that's due to the fact that the copper was soaked in oil. Plus I had a little bit of a lacquer with it. So anyways, now this is worth close to about $3. I'd say probably about $2.90 I would get for it from my scrapyard. And they will buy ingots. I already checked with them. They will buy these. So when I do finally retire the channel, which hopefully, you know, won't be anytime soon, at least I know I have a scrapyard that will buy all of this copper as is. And they will pay me number one copper for it. So anyways, let's go ahead and stick this with the stack here from the current series. Looking pretty good. So what'd you guys think of the video? I understand that I have a crappy voice right now and I'm not really chipper like I usually am in the videos, but that will change over the course of the week. If you think this was a good video or if you think it was a bad video, then leave me some feedback by dropping a comment down below. It'll really help me out because I wanna make sure that you guys are satisfied with the content that I am creating. If you really liked the video, you can also hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell notifications. That will actually mean the world to me. So, and you can expect to see more scrapping videos every Friday from the Blue Palette series, usually posted around 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I understand this video posted on Saturday, well, due to the nature that I did test positive for COVID, and I had to work a bunch of overtime this week anyways. I just didn't have a chance to get to the video until Thursday night when I actually tested positive. So anyways, thank you very much for watching my video, everyone. Happy scrapping, casting, and stacking. And we'll show you the stack one more time before we let you go.